Mr. how you doing? This is Living With Finest and um, tonight we're going to can some rice. This is something I do about it once every two weeks, maybe once a month, depending on what my mood is. But um, got some rice here, going to can, so I'm going to show you guys the process of how I can my rice and how I vacuum seal it in my jars. First off, start off with some rice. So this is about 25 pounds of rice. I um, start off with a 50 pound bag and been working it down, but there's about 25 left and maybe 30 pounds left in there right now. Um, also, I use the quart size wide mouth cur jars. It costs about 11 bucks from Walmart. In order to seal them up, I got a food saver for my wedding about two years ago, so I really just got in the habit of using that. And then I got on Amazon and ordered this attachment here. And what it is is this hose connects to the food saver and this mounts to the top of the jar and it vacuum seals the jar. So it takes all the air out of it and preserves your rice the way it should. You're going to need a funnel and also some good old Pyrex measuring cup to get everything started. So let's go ahead and open our uh, open the jars up and get started. Now when I'm canning meat and things of that nature I wash my jars and dry them in the oven and all that good stuff the way they recommend but when I'm just doing dry rice I don't go through all of that unless I just feel a need that I got some really dirty jars but I don't so get all this lined up I'm good to go over here alright so this particular case that I bought comes with 12 quart size wide mouth jars. Comes with the lids and the rings. And like I said before, all 11 bucks out of Walmart. So, let's get going with that. Alright, so, be careful when you first open them because sometimes they do pop. Made my wife jump a few times, but see, she got pops. But I'm gonna fill up a few up so you can see how I do it. Alright, so get your funnel inside. Open up that price. Got this rice from, um, it's a place here called the Friday Store. And what it is is this a it's a store that's open only on the weekends. But what they do is they go buy all the the surplus food from Walmart and other grocery stores right before it expires. Or also they take overstock in restaurants or. They kiss restaurants going out of business and they will buy their stock and sell it for cents on a dollar. So let's say if, I talked about this before in a different video, but let's say if the meat at Walmart says um, it needs to be frozen by June 1st. These people here at the Friday store they'll come in, let's say May the 28th or May the 25th and Walmart's really trying to get rid of all of it and they'll buy it all up at a discount from Walmart and what they do is they turn around and at their, at their, uh, at their store they have these huge freezers in the back and all they do is immediately freeze all the meat that they have and I've gotten Actually, I've filled, I've, uh, filled up my entire deep freezer outside with meat from there. And occasionally we'll dig in a pantry and eat some of it though, but it is some good stuff. I tell you, I mean, you can get a variety of things. I mean, I've gotten the um, boneless chicken pieces out of there, sausage, bacon. The biggest hustle they have though are those rotisserie chickens that you see at the deli at Walmart. 
they sell a whole case of them, which is 50 pounds, for 20 bucks. And that's actually eight full birds, seasoned and everything, completely frozen. So I got eight full birds in my uh, in my freezer. Now I either separate them all out but in a bag them individually, but I haven't got around to that yet. So as you can see, we got three jars already done. I try to fill mine up as high as I can possibly get them. So I'm gonna sit back and do the rest of these, and then we'll come back and show you how. We put them all through the food saver and seal them all the way up. Alright. Okay, we're back and we have all 12 jars full of rice. And now we get ready to put the lids on and seal them all the way up. Alright, so first thing we got to do is connect our uh, wide mouth lid accessory. So you connect the holes to this little accessory tube down here on the food saver. Make sure you got it in there good and tight. Set the air can seal correctly. All right, turn it on. All right, so get your first one lined up. Make sure your lids is placed correctly on there. Put the attachment on. Make sure it's tight. All right, let's do it. smaller jars. When I first did this I did about 40 pounds and a half gallon jars but I like doing them in these quart jars because these give me the ability to keep it separated but also if I needed to give one of these away I could. You know so it works out pretty well. food saver for about a good year and a half and I said, you know what man, I'm going to start using this thing for what it's really supposed to be used for. So I've been vacuum sealing all kinds of stuff, man. And it works good. I mean, you sit back and to seal up your rice to where it lasts you a lot longer. I think it's a good deal. I got it for free. The wedding gift. Can't beat that. She scratches it's gonna blow it up. I'm like, no, baby, it's sucking. It's not blowing in there. She's like, whatever. She don't want to be the first one to get. Oh, fumble. She want to be the first one to get uh, injured by a vacuum sealer. So I always laugh at that. But good to go. So normally, I can do about 20 pounds of rice with one of these sets of jars. So it works out good because Walmart has their 20 pound bag of rice for 10 bucks. So you can spend about $20 and put 11 on the jars, 10 on the rice, and put you some rice up. Last should be a long time. Chopping 
going to fast forward it for you guys. Because I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me do 12 full jars. Maybe you might, but I'm not going to sit here and punish you through it all that. and I'll cut back and show you guys the finished results. Alright? Alright folks, we finished all 12 jars. Got the last one here to kind of show you how it looks, but it gets you ready and it gets it on there really, really tight. Has a real good seal to it. And that way you know can nothing get in there and contaminate your rice. But I try to do this at least once a month, sometimes twice. It only costs 20 bucks to do, you know, and it's a good, a good habit of putting your rice up that way. It'll last a lot longer than it would in a regular plastic bag. You can also do the same thing with beans, pasta. I mean, canning is just a really great way to preserve your food. Now, I got this food saver, like I said, for a wedding gift, and it's great. But if you don't have a food saver, you can easily come up and get you these food-grade buckets. Now, this one held lime juice, and I got them for five bucks each. But you get a food grade bucket, you clean it out, then you can put whatever your dry goods are in there, then get you some um, oxygen absorbers, and then also get you some mylar bags. Put all your, your goods in your mylar bag, put your oxygen absorber in there, use your iron and seal it, and you're good to go. And that'd be a lot cheaper than buying a food saver. Unless you just want to save your money up and go get one, you know. But in the end, you know, food preparation and and storage is a real big deal as far as survival methods go. You need to have some way to preserve your food and put it up so it lasts a long time for you. For my family, rice is going to be one of our main staples at and chunky soups because they got so many flavors of chunky soup. But, um, you know, this is them with fine. So I really want to thank you guys for watching the channel and giving me comments and tips and really enjoying the dialogue back and forth that you're having with everybody. Also on Google Plus as well. Having a good time talking with everybody and just really learning a whole lot and also able to reach out to other people and just have some real good discussions about survival, firearms, and just, you know, just overall the the different things that we need to be able to make in this lifetime. So, you know, please check out my other videos. You know, don't be afraid to ask me a question or send me a message or whatever. You know, just let me know what's going on with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please um, subscribe. Don't forget about my monthly subscriber contest. I always trying to give away something to show our appreciation. Thanks so much. This is Noah's Finest. Take care.